The three-day gathering brought together about 175 delegates from 26 African countries, including Namibia and beyond, with the aim of strengthening collaboration between Africa and Cuba. The patron of the Namibia-Cuba Friendship Association, Antiba Trevoya Trevo, says Namibians will always cherish the financial and material support that Swapo Party received from Cuba. I can assure you that this conference will be a springboard for our Namibian-Cuba Friendship Association to intensify its uh, activities. The struggle will continue in the spirit of Fidel and Che. Thousands of Africans were trained in Cuba in different fields and Yatrevo is optimistic that this bond of friendship is unbreakable. He therefore called for this bond to be strengthened, especially in honoring the legacies of late Cuban leader Fidel Castro and the international revolutionary Che Guevara. Some participants are happy with the Africa-Cuba relations thus far. For us as, as, uh, as Africans, uh, we know that the Cubans gave us a blank check uh, towards our own freedom, towards our own revolution uh, with their lives. More so that Cuba, you know, are the kid and king of Africa. You know, and we, we feel it as our brothers and sisters. And then we need to give them solidarity. It's very important. And I think the future I mean, is, is something that is uh, uh, desirable and it will yield great success. Others feel that the ban be lifted, especially the continued prohibition to use the U.S. dollar to trade with other countries and the prohibition of the export of its technological equipment to the U.S. They also want the continued occupation of Guantanamo by the U.S. to be stopped. This requires concerted pressure by Cuba's friends from around the world to ensure that the entire economic blockade are lifted. I think much success has been made, but then there are still much ground to cover. And we, we believe it's a gradual thing, and the more we accelerate, the more I know that success you know, will be achieved, greatly in all the other areas. I would have to concede that uh, we have not been able to, to uh, reciprocate uh, at the same level that the Cubans did with us. But I think that we need to acknowledge uh, the challenges and the contradictions within Africa in terms of our own internal struggles post uh, our uh, uh, post-colonization. President of the Cuban Institute of Friendship, Fernando Gonzalez, reassured that his country will continue with its solidarity with Africa. Jeff Tashihumino, NBC News, Venduk.